Right, uh, I'm having a go at this uh, silver point portrait of David Suff. His silver point drawings um, inspired me to try the medium in the early 1980s. And I just thought it was so strange to meet him now at Goldmark Gallery, having never met him before. Why not try a silver point portrait of him? Particularly as he's got the kind of beard that would be brilliant for silver point. I like to start off with just a faint outline of the structure of the drawing, then work in the background and the main tones, and finally the detail. Uh, for the detail, particularly in things like, like a beard or white highlights, um, you can pick out uh, detail with, the, with a round-bladed round scalpel, gently touching the surface. So silver point can't be erased. It's a time-consuming medium. It takes quite a while for things to come together, at least the way I work with it. So it's patient and uh, laborious, really. It's okay, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm happy with it. I hope he will be. <laughs> I mean, Silver Point has the disadvantage, it's got no tonal range. It ju it's just a uniform silvery grey line. Whereas with graphite, you've got the range of tones from hard to soft. Once you've accepted that limitation, you can come to terms with it. I mean, with this one, delicate areas like this, uh, you have to hold the silver point like you're holding a feather. Don't press, don't scrape, just hold it gently like a feather and a fine, fine silver line on the gesso. But when you do textured areas like the dark, even the fine sanding of the uh, gesso shows fine textural lines and sometimes I've been unhappy about that. But I've come to accept it now and I, I quite like it. I find when I'm doing a silver point, um, I, when I'm working I always have music on, depending on uh, what it is I'm doing. Quite often I'll have uh, some jazz on, some loud, pacey stuff, uh, Sidney Bechet or Sonny Rollins. But when I'm doing a silver point, for some reason I need to listen to ancient music, to Baroque music. And I love to have Cooper or Rameau or Bach on, particularly harpsichord suites. For some reason I can just get mentally in the right zone when I'm li listening to that. So I'm doing the silver point with the Baroque music in the background keeps me calm and focused. It's an important element. As with drawings like this, I sometimes need to use the magnifying glass on some of the detail. I think I use the magnifying glass on the, on the eyes and the skin texture. I, I see my own uh, interest in doing these sort of portraits goes back to childhood in a book that I had um, of Holbein's portraits, which I found fascinating from when I was little. And I think my fascination with those um, has influenced my idea of doing these portraits. Now, I always loved those Holbein portraits because they seemed both... Uh, they seemed timeless, they felt fresh and present, and you knew they were hundreds of years old, and I loved that quality. And I think um, with, with developing an interest in silver point and wanting to do portraits, these things um, have influenced me. And th this, this particular book, this is the one I'm talking about, has drawings in it that I think have just stuck in my, my mind since I was little. And I think seen in relation to that, the influence is obvious. I mean, I think with the, with the uh, portrait of David Suff, I've tried to get that kind of feeling, that timeless feeling. Uh, but at the same time, the um, Smoke Fairies logo makes it utterly contemporary. I mean, nothing can compare with the Holbein, but, um, you know, it's nice to have a go.